Does your dog need a resume? I mean, I know the economy's in trouble, but do dogs need resumes too? Well, that's the question that we're going to talk about today, thanks to an invitation from my new friend Sean for an expert website review. Hi, I'm Scott Fox from expertwebsitereviews.com. Today we're going to look at doggyresumes.com. Doggyresumes.com. Now, this is a niche of a niche. But Sean has identified a business opportunity here, and we're going to talk about his website at his request to uh, see what we can do to help him improve his sales. I've got a bunch of thoughts here about layout and product strategy, even a little search engine op optimization, and especially some copywriting ideas that could help Sean improve his sales. If you're interested in this kind of review yourself, head over to expertwebsitereviews.com, and I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, so welcome, Sean. DoggyResumes.com. You've got an original concept here. This looks like a lot of fun. You've got a cute uh, little puppy here and um, some nice photos, of a pleasing, clean, modern-looking layout. Uh, generally speaking, the first impression is nice, right? So let's talk about how to upgrade this and focus it more on actually making you some money because that's the bottom line here. In fact, you in your email to me, you said... Um, I'd like to know how to make the site much more productive to have visitors so amazed that they can do nothing else but to buy the product. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great objective there, uh, Sean. So let's see what we can do. Um, I guess my first impression, like I said, is nice. Um, there's, it's a little crowded. Like I think you have too many things over here in the side menu bar. Like you don't need a guest book. Um, the contact us even is sort of redundant with the about us. I think you could squeeze that down. If your store is really where the action happens, then that's what you want to limit it to. I don't think you need much more really than a home page, uh, put some samples on the home page, and then link people off to the store if that's what you need to do. Ideally, I think the store shouldn't be a separate thing. It should be links directly from products here on the home page. So let's put that all together. Um, the concept I'm thinking is that you want more of a splash page or a squeeze page almost. A squeeze page is a page where people come in and they're grabbed by an offer and then kind of convinced through the copy and pictures and then squeezed into taking an action. And that's what you really want here is an action. You want to purchase. Um, you, although the other action here that I think you should invest a little bit of uh, effort in is collecting people's emails because they may not be ready to buy a doggy resume today and you're not building in anything here to follow up with them. So I would definitely think about including um, either social media tags like uh, join us on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus, whatever, you, whatever angles you like to use, but especially email is my favorite of those. Uh, sign up for our free email newsletter and get some tips on positioning your dog for stardom or whatever, something like that, okay? But the bigger picture is I'm not sure you've convinced me that I need a doggy resume. And in fact, I'm not even sure what a doggy resume is for. So I think strategically you need to take a step back here. Who is this site for? Um, I guess this is for, and I'm guessing because I've read through it, it's for the owner of a dog, but not just any dog, a dog that's particularly cute and that their owner thinks that uh, this dog has potential in show business. I think that's what you're really after here, right? So I think you need to be more specific, um, like your tagline, highlighting the amazing qualities your canine friend possesses. That's nice. Um, but it lacks either specificity or keywords. I don't see any keywords in there that anybody's searching on. Um, they're not searching on highlighting or amazing qualities or friend. Uh, canine is okay, but most people are just going to search on dog. So uh, it's kind of weak from an SEO point of view. But even more importantly, I think that it doesn't tell me what I need to know, which is why do I need a doggy resume and um, what am I going to do with one, right? So I think you need to think a little more about positioning this. Your copy here is pretty nice. Uh, it explains what this is about, but you need to hit it harder. Like this space here, homepage, you don't need this to say homepage. That's a complete waste of space. In fact, this whole layout loses a lot of space. It's very pretty. I like it because it kind of breathes. It feels outdoors and, and pleasant. It's not particularly dog-like for what it's worth. You could be more dog-like, I think, but you also have a lot of space. See all this empty space? Look at all this. Uh, and over here, if you visit most e-commerce sites, and that's what you, I'm understanding you want this to be, it looks more like a store. There's a bunch of products. Buy this one, buy this one, buy this one. Small, medium, large. Here it is in blue. Here it is in red. Here it is at uh, this price and at this price. And here's the premium package. You know, you have a bunch of stuff to buy. This looks more like a blog. You've got a whole bunch of copy instead of a store approach. And that store needs to lead off with some sort of promise. Now we come to the copywriting bit. Like I said, your, high, your slogan here isn't 
very evocative. You do, it's not grabbing me, like highlighting, amazing. I mean, those are nice words, but what do you want me to do? Copywriting is really about getting somebody's attention. You need to make a big, bold promise. Um, get a doggy resume today, and your dog will be in, then, you know, become a Hollywood star. You know, or something like that. And you, you, of course, you can't claim anything misleading or fraudulent or illegal, but you have to get people's attention. Like, really? Wow. And that gets their attention, and then you want to attract their interest into reading this. Because if somebody comes here and they say, Doggy resumes, cute dog, highlighting amazing qualities, I'm not going to read all this, I'm gone. Right? You need to narrow this down and say, Doggy resumes, wow! A doggy resume can do this for you. Oh, really? Like, you need to present a benefit that gets their attention, make a promise that inspires them to then read the rest of it, okay? And, and set up the proposition, which I gather is that this is, um, like I get what the resume is, it's uniquely designed, specifically tailored to your pet. But for what? I don't see that anywhere here on the screen right now. What is a resume for? You can stand out from the crowd, okay, what crowd? Are you, I, I honestly don't know, is this for fun? Are you going to send this to your relatives? Are you, or are you going to try to get an agent for your dog and get him put in commercials and movies? If that's what you're talking about, then you need those words in there. Agents, movies, commercials, um, business, right? And present this as a business proposition to people. Right now, it's kind of a fun hobby thing, but your price point currently is $39. It's a bit of an expensive hobby. But if you can make a business case that, hey, welcome to DoggyResumes.com. Buy one of our resumes, and you'll get the attention of casting directors to put your dog in the movies. Like, oh, really? That's interesting. That might be worth $39. So you need to kind of connect the dots here a little more than you have, I think. I hope this is helpful because it's a kind of a big picture thing. You need to take a step back. You're kind of presuming people know what a doggy resume is, and more importantly, why they want one. So make that promise specific and explicit and demonstrate the value to them. Don't start talking just about what you do for them, but the benefit that they get. So this will help you showcase your dog's talent, skills, and cute little face to casting agents, if that's the angle. I think it is, but honestly, I read through the site, and I'm not entirely sure. You also mentioned down here, just off the screen, let's scroll down, you mentioned landlords. Okay, that's interesting too. Now that's a totally different angle. Maybe I'm off because uh, here you said acting and modeling, but landlords is another interesting angle. Convince your landlord, convince any landlord that your dog, you know, is a wonderful tenant. Well, that's another value proposition. In fact, that might be a whole separate business for you. I can see two different landing pages for those diff two different propositions because the keywords that would result in the descriptive copy from both of those would end up attracting different kinds of visitors uh, from search engine traffic, people looking for different kinds of solutions. One person's typing in saying, how do I get my dog in commercials? And the other's typing into Google saying, uh, landlord won't let my dog in. And how do you solve those two problems? Well, those are almost two different businesses for you, Sean. So um, I hope that's helpful. I'm not uh, driving you crazy, but I think that actually is interesting because you have two separate angles on this, both of which may come back to your doggy resume as a solution to those customers' problems. And that's really what this is all about, is um, demonstrating, uh, offering solutions to people's problems. Okay, so now assuming you're with me so far, let's get a little more tactical. Uh, I want to scroll down to the bottom. You've got this website tonight thing. That's the sign of kind of an amateur, honestly. GoDaddy is not known for the quality of their website hosting. I would take that off there. Um, copyright 2011, that's okay, but if you forget to update that, that's going to look bad next year. You don't actually need to put that on a page anymore. Uh, I would remove that if you'd like. Uh, DoggyResumes.com here. Why not capitalize the R? It makes it a lot easier to do, like you did here, doggyresumes.com. Maybe you've seen my videos about that, <laughs> like when people capitalize words in their URLs because it makes it easier to read and remember. Um, okay, GoDaddy secured. Okay, maybe okay. Um, you've got your social media stuff down here. That's fine, but like I said, how about email? Email still the number one communications device for business, and I'd get an email collector going down here as well. Um, this is nice that you've put in contact information. I'm not sure it's super relevant on the homepage. It's a little distracting, honestly, uh, because you're, as I understand it, your uh, customers could easily come from New York or uh, or Botswana as easily as Australia or California. So I'd move this to the um, to the Contact Us page, like I said. Now back to this, um, the guest book I don't think you need at all. I would combine Contact Us and About Us 
and uh, those could maybe even go down in the footer in a nice uh, organized way down here. You can kind of repeat the menu down here, and that would leave the focus on home page, which you then don't need because you're on the home page. Certainly, this you don't need. And uh, putting, I would pull the samples out, put them on the home page, and then have those linked to the online store. In other words, I don't think you need this navigation at all. I'd much rather see the site be a lot wider and full of the pretty pictures. So here's the payoff, right? You've got these pretty pictures. These samples are cool. That's what I was expecting to see on the home page. If you're selling a product, I want to see the product on the home page. Now, this is super slick, this, uh, this slide viewer you've got here. Uh, but honestly, it might be a little too much. Um, this is so cool, I think people would get distracted by it. I'd almost rather see a simple JPEG still photo, basically, of five or six of these back on the home page, and maybe those linked to the blow-ups that are then priced, which you have over here in the store. This is what I'd like to see on the home page. How about a bunch of these on the home page? Take say maybe these top six, or I don't care, take them all, you don't have that many, and put them out on the home page get rid of this stuff and use the copy that you have on the home page instead. That's what I would like to see because then it looks like a store. If you want people to be impressed and buy stuff, you've got to make it easy for them. Show them the product right up front, have them understand the uh, what it costs, and decorate up here with all the bits about the benefits to them. Make the promise that gets their attention, explain to them the benefits and how it could benefit to them in terms of maybe uh, getting uh, film gigs or impressing landlords or whatever other use there is for these things, and then lead into the uh, to the pictures themselves. I think that would be a much more effective. I also noticed, by the way, that there's a bit of a, a navigation problem here. This home link only goes to the home of the store. You see, if I do this, the screen just refreshes, it doesn't go back to the actual home page the rest of the site. So this this menu has all changed, even though it's in the same place, in the same font, in the same size. It's very confusing. So I think uh, this maybe is your website, to be honest, my friend. The other stuff, I'm not sure you need at all. Why not point doggyresumes.com here, replace this stuff with the attention getting copy and promises and, and benefits, like I said, uh, right here on the storefront. I think that would get you a lot clearer um, proposition in your visitors' minds because they would land, they'd say, oh, this is what it's about, okay, cool. I see, oh, and here it is to buy it. Hmm, got it. And they've got it in, you know, 10 seconds, maybe 5 seconds. That's what you want. You don't want people to spend X minutes figuring out what you're doing because in that time they're going to get distracted, they get a phone call, they get bored, <laughs> you know, something else, a new email comes in, the phone rings, they're gone. You need to grab them immediately, make that promise and get them into the products so that the time they spend on your site is about, well, do I like this one or do I like this one? As opposed to, what is this site about? Where am I going? Oh, I got to go. I hope that's clear and helpful to you. Um, let's see what else. Well, I think we're getting near the end here because that's kind of a pretty heavy redo. And then you notice again, I can't get back home here. Even this is this banner is usually linked to the home home page. So let's just stop back here one second because there was one other thing I wanted to mention before we go. Um, you have some cute stock photos here. That's fine. Uh, sprinkle those around. You don't want only your products because when somebody lands, you want to reinforce the idea that this is a doggy site. You've got a cute dog. I'm cool with that. Here's my other critique though. You're about us. Another. Stock photo, cute dog, again, I get it. Um, and here's some good copy. Impress landlords, doggy daycare. Oh, I see, here's another use. I hadn't, I missed this one, doggy daycare. So then you've got to impress the person with your, with your resume. I got it. But this isn't about us stuff. This is like actual use stuff, right? I think this should be brought out to the home page. Maybe not all of it, but at least in bullets saying, here's what you do with a doggy uh, resume. But here's what should be on the about us stuff. The story of doggy resumes. This is what you need. Um, this is cute. It's nice. But you know what it's missing? How about a picture of Sean, Kamiko, and Bentley? You need to be more personal. This is obviously a small family-owned business by people who care about their dog. I want to see the dog. If I'm a visitor and I'm considering a doggy resume because I love my dog so much, I want to know that you love your dog so much, and I want to see your dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think stock photos are appropriate everywhere, and I think you've, I mean, this is a super cute photo. It's hard to argue with that, but that's not you, and I think the about us needs to be and truly about you. Um, now, the other thing here was your, your questions. Uh, so what is this? This is your production process. 
you speak to you individually. Okay, conversation. So I guess you're actually going to do this by phone. That needs to be spelled out a little bit. So this goes into my other idea. I think there could be use for another page on here, a frequently asked questions page. And I would take this kind of thing out there, out of here, and put it on a frequently asked questions page. And the questions are things like, what is a doggy resume? How would I use it? Um, what uh, what do you need from me? How do you get it from me in terms of what's the process? You know, is it a form? Is it a phone call? Do you shoot a video like this one I'm shooting for you? You know, what happens? Do you need me to send you pictures? What format should the pictures be in? How much does it cost? How long does it take? I mean, all these sort of things. You've bought things online, I know, because you bought this expert website review from me at expertwebsitereviews.com. But you need to answer those questions and write that so as to overcome objections. As people go through these things, they're often trying to talk themselves out of spending the money. So you want to slant your uh, FAQ page copy towards convincing them that it is a good idea. And I think that that would be useful because doggy resumes is a pretty new concept. It's a cute concept, but it's new enough that you need to spend a little more time hand-holding once a person is convinced. And here's my last point. You don't want to do all that convincing on the home page. The home page should be presenting the proposition, getting their attention, and then leading them into looking at frequently asked questions and answering all the questions and overcoming objections so that they make a purchase. The home page itself, like I said at the beginning, needs to be kind of a squeeze page. Wow, a big offer. This is interesting. I'll read a little more. Hmm, this is very interesting. Oh, I see the product. That looks attractive. What's it cost? Oh, okay, maybe. Now I have questions. Okay, so that's kind of the process. And I think if you think about your own purchase process, you'll find that that probably mimics what you do when you visit websites to buy things as well. So I hope that's helpful for you, Sean. Uh, I, that's a big step forward. I think if you do all that stuff, you've obviously got some nice copy, a cool concept. Uh, I don't know how big this niche is, but it's certainly worth a try. And uh, it looks like something that you and Kamiko would really enjoy doing. So that's the best thing about being a click millionaire is figuring out something that you enjoy doing and making other people uh, happier by solving their problems too. So good luck with this. I'd love to hear more. Come on over to clickmillionaires.com and join the forum if you'd like a lot more feedback from the rest of our members worldwide or ongoing uh, help and support from me, Scott Fox. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube or anywhere else, I'm Scott Fox from expertwebsitereviews.com, and I hope to see you again soon online. Thanks for watching.